and all the time the Lord our God is good. This is another day which the Lord our God has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Our God is good and is our very present help in time of need. He knows and He delivers all those who put their trust in Him. I'd love to welcome us in our today's broadcast. And I pray and I believe God that the Lord our God is going to minister to all of us, to bless us and transform our lives in the name of Jesus. Before we go into the word of the Lord, let us pray. Wonderful God, I am that I am, King of kings, Lord of lords. We want to praise and worship and give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God want to praise you, want to adore you, for there is no one like you. We exalt you, ancient of day. We praise you, Lord, for the day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, today we have come again at your feet. Lord, at your feet we receive wisdom, we receive revelation and understanding. Holy Spirit, we welcome you and we ask you to come and do your works in our lives. Lead us and guide us, our great Jehovah. Open the eyes and the ears of our understanding. Reveal to us the mystery that's in your words. Guide us, O Lord, and lead us in prayers. Lead us unto victory, the Holy Father. In Jesus' precious name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Once again, we are welcome in our today's program. So we have been talking about the power of God, the devil's target in your life, the devil's target in my life, the devil's target in every uh, believer's life. Praise the Lord. Uh, in the book of Acts chapter 1, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, Jesus said, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost come upon you, and you shall become witness of me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and in all the utmost parts of the earth. Praise the Lord. And the devil knows that uh, when you are operating in the power of God, you will be able to fulfill your destiny. It's because your destiny or your assignment on this earth is to be a witness, to go about bearing witness. That Jesus Christ is Lord in your health, in your business, in your career, in your marriage, in everything, wherever you are. You are expected, the, the desire of heaven is that you will demonstrate the power of God. The power of God needs to be seen in your marriage. The power of God needs to be seen in your business. The power of God needs to be seen in your spiritual life. As a pastor, as a minister of the word of God, the power of God needs to be seen in your ministry. The power of God needs to be seen in every area of your life as a child of God. Glory be to the name of the Lord our God. Uh, and the devil knows that as long as you are operating freely in the power of God, you become dangerous to his kingdom. You become dangerous to his kingdom. That's why the devil is now targeting the power of God in your life. So he, he like in the case of Samson, he told uh, the, the, the Philistine, told Delilah, entice him so that he can reveal to you where lies his great power and with what he, can he be bound so that we can be able to afflict and torment him. Praise the Lord. In today's program, we are going to pray against destiny destroyers. Uh, the greatest enemy of your life is a power that does not want you to fulfill your destiny. The greatest enemy of your life is the power that does not want to, to you to fulfill your destiny. What is your destiny? Your destiny is the reason why the Lord your God created you. Your destiny is what God had in mind before he put you in your mother's womb. He told us in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, he said, Before I found thee in the belly, I knew thee. And while you see in your mother's womb, I ordained you a prophet and to nations. So your destiny is your godly given assignment on this earth. You are not a purposeless child. You are not created for nothing. You are created for something. There is a reason why. I pray that as the word of God is coming with fire, the veil on your eyes is being roasted and the scale on your eyes are falling out. I pray that that all the cataracts in your eyes, they are melting by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray that all the demonic rust in your ears, they are 
being brushed off by heavenly brush and they are being melted by the fire of the Holy Ghost and being flushed out by the power that is in the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. So you, the reason why your life do comes under attack is because of your destiny. Praise the Lord. Everyone has his star. Everyone has his destiny. You don't need to envy another person and nobody need to envy you. Praise the King of Kings. All the people that came on this earth, even in the time of old, we know the destiny of Moses was to, or what we call, a, a destiny is also an assignment. The destiny of Moses was to take the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And the destiny of Joshua was to take the children of Israel right into their promised land. Praise the Lord. So, your destiny. We know that the destiny of uh, Gideon was to deliver the children of Israel from the hand of the Midianites in the book of Judges chapter 6. The destiny of Samson was to deliver the children of Israel from the hand of the Philistines. So, everyone has his own destiny. And the destiny of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he came on this earth was to save us from sin. Was to save us from sin. He came from heaven to earth to show us the way and from the earth, he went to the cross to pay the price of our salvation. From the cross, he went to the grave to take away the power of death from the hands of the enemy. And from the earth, from the grave, he ascended. And now he's seated on the right hand of the Father, far above principalities and powers. The, we know that the destiny of John the Baptist was to, um, he was a forbearer of Jesus, was to come and prepare the way for the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> everyone has his own destiny. The unfortunate thing is that multitude did not discover their destinies in life. Many people have gone to schools and they study their own courses. They study engineering, medicine, and so forth. And at the end, you find they are abandoning medicine to go and do another thing. So how come a person that is a, a qualified medical doctor is there preaching? And the people look at it that preaching is nothing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So why? Because later, the person later, he discover, the person discover his true destiny that I'm called to minister the word of God. Praise the Lord. I'm called to be a businessman. I'm called to be a politician, I'm called to be this, I'm called to be that. If we can discover our destinies, nobody will be envy other people. So, and the, we know that the destiny of Joseph was to rescue his people during the time of famine. You know, your destiny is that assignment God has put upon you to rescue your people from whatever calamity. Uh, that may fall before uh, mankind. Praise the Lord. Today there are many things we are enjoying because there are men and women that have discovered their destinies. We are enjoying the electricities because there are those that have discovered their destiny. That, no, my, my assignment is to, bring to, is to bring light to this earth. We are enjoying te uh, telephones, televisions. All those are inventories. It's people that, that have discovered their destinies. There are people in medical field who have discovered uh, medications that today we are enjoying those medications whenever someone goes to hospital you get a penicillin or what you call antibiotic and the person will get fine but there was a time people can just die of a, 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 of a common uh, flu praise the Lord so but the enemy the devil that is angry that doesn't want you to fulfill your destiny this is why you are always coming under attack as a pastor you are watching this program and you realize you are always having dreams after you pray you are praying for ministry you are having dreams things that you are, you are just in blockages yes the enemy god is showing you that the enemy is putting obstacles and the blockages on your way you need to stand strong in the lord in the power of his mind maybe you're a businesswoman a businessman you need time you are praying for your business you all see all kind of obstacles. The Lord is showing you that there is an attack in your destiny. The enemy is blocking you. The enemy is trying to frustrate you out of your position. Praise 
the Lord. This is why you need to pray. This is why we need to pray. The enemy is not joking when he's seeking for your power because he wants to destroy. When he destroy your power, he has succeeded to destroy your destiny. When he stop your power, he has succeeded to stop your destiny. Praise the Lord. You need power to be able to prevail. We are told in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, chapter 6, verse 10. He said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. Those of you in physics, you know that nothing moves except the power when it's applied. No object will move unless the power has been applied. And the more force or power applied to an object, the faster the object will move. The faster the object will move. Praise the King of Kings. Jesus knew that without the power, all what he called us to do, we cannot be able to do it. We need power. It's a necessity. It's very, very important for you to be anointed for your assignment. Praise the Lord. You need to be empowered. Even Jesus, when he came on this earth, he did not start preaching. He secured the power because, you know, without the power to minister, it will be vanity upon vanity. It's one thing for you to know your assignment. Another thing is for you to be empowered for the assignment you are called to do. You will need empowerment. You need to be empowered. Without empowerment, forget about fulfilling your destiny. And that's what the enemy wants. The enemy wants us to be weaklings. Praise Jesus. He went to Jordan to be baptized by John the Baptist. He went, before he went to the water, he was praying. Even when he came out, he, kept, he kept on praying. And the heaven, later the heavens were opened unto him. The Holy Spirit came upon him in the form of a dove, laid it on him. And then God confirmed that this is my beloved son, to him and well pleased. And the Holy Spirit led him in the wilderness to be tested by the devil. And for four, those 40 days, he ate nothing. He was fasting and praying, securing his power in the wilderness. When Jesus was in the wilderness being tempted by the devil, the purpose of the devil was uh, now the devil was attacking the power of Jesus Christ. Because you know that if I let this man to be powerful like this, my kingdom is under destruction. But Jesus stood, withstood the devil. Say, ah, if you're a son of God, why are you hungry like this? No fear, like, for example, say, Pastor, the devil is talking to you. Say, he's a man of God, why are you hungry like this? Command the soul to become bread. You begin to make slight. You begin to see for, for, to give false prophecies. You begin to see fake dreams and fake visions. In the name of, uh, uh, you, 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 you begin to, 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 to sell, to sell the gospel. Because you are commanding stones to become bread. You are supposed to command the stones to become alive. Now all the people in your church, they are just stones. They can't hear from God. They can't, even if they hear from God, they cannot even distinguish that this is the voice of God. They are like young, uh, young Samuel. He heard God calling him. You know that was God calling him. Even Eli, it took Eli time to be able to, to realize that ah, maybe it's the Lord of calling this young man. Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live by bread the Lord, but by every word proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. It is written. You need to know that Matthew is not as a minister of the gospel, as a preacher. You are not your survivor. Your living is not by bread alone. But by every word from the mouth of the Lord. I always used to tell people that the word of God will give you what you need. The word of God will give you healing, but healing will not give you the word of God. The word of God will give you promotion, but promotion will not give you the word of God. The word of God will give you peace, but peace will not give you the word of God. This is why we are told in Matthew 6 verse, 20, verse 33 that but first seek the kingdom of heaven in its righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. All other things shall be added unto you. Nowadays, we are putting the cart before the horse. Seek first the kingdom of heaven in its righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. 
You need to safeguard the anointing of God, the oil of God upon your head. Don't sell it. Don't sell it on the altar of sexual immorality. Don't sell it on it so that you'll be feeding yourself from the table of Zezebel. When you perfect the word of God, when you walk away out of the way of the Lord, you begin to eat on the table of Jezebel. You begin to see fake visions and dreams. You begin to, to give fake prophecies. You, why do you know it's going to call you? And the enemy has worked on you. And you say, I will go out the same way I've been going out before. You never know that this is an attack on your destiny. One day you are going to appear before God. And the Lord will only ask you, have you done what I call you to do? Or he will tell you, what, why have you not done what I told you to do? And you begin to give you excuses. Lord, you know I was hungry. You know this and that. I have a situation. I have a wife. I have a husband. I have children. You will give all those excuses why you have excited. And the Lord will say, depart from me. You wicked and unfaithful servant. Go in the outer darkness where they will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I pray that you will not trade your destiny on the altar of delicacies in the name of Jesus. The enemy targeted Samson. So what made this man so powerful? They targeted the power. Samson was joking. He was not sober. He was not vigilant. Before he knew it, he was no longer powerful. He became powerless. Before he knew it, they pluck out his eyes. Even later, they, the hair grew. His eyes never grew. His eyes never grew. As a child of God, you need to safeguard your destiny. You need to safeguard your destiny. You have to let the Lord to be your Lord and your personal Savior. You have to, to let the Lord be your shepherd to lead you, to guide you in all truth and in all holiness. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray. I want to go into serious prayer. Because the greatest battle in your life is the battle against your destiny. The greatest battle in your life is the battle against your destiny. One thing the enemy will never want or like you to do is to be where the Lord has said you must be, is to do what the Lord has called you to do. But we have to put up a fight. You know, the Lord told us, submit yourself to the Lord, resist the devil, and you will flee. Number one, submitting it means you have to give yourself to the will of God for your life. Give yourself to the will of God for your life. Lord, what is your will for me? It's not where you are forcing your own will. Uh, God, uh, do this, this, my Lord, they say you give my heart desire. God will only give you a heart desire when your heart desire is his desire. When your heart desire is his desire. God will not submit himself to you. You are the one that has to submit yourself to the Lord. Listen, listen very well. If the standard of God is too high for you, you have to make sure that you lift yourself up. You jump as high as it's possible for you to reach the standard of God. If the standard of God is too low for you, you will need to humble yourself as, as slowly as possible so that you can meet his standard. God cannot change his standard to fit you. God cannot change his standard to fit you. You are the one who has to change yourself to fit in the standard of God. When he said that the narrow is the way, you can't try to broaden it. If you are too fed to walk in the path of the Lord, you have to trim yourself until you can fit in the path of the Lord. God cannot expand his way to fit you. God cannot change his standard to fit you. You are the one that has to change yourself to fit into the standard of God. Praise the Lord. It is very, 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 very important in your life if you must not assist your enemy to destroy you. You'll be crying all the time. You'll be worried all the time. Until such a time, you submit yourself to the Lord your God. He says, submit 
yourself to the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee. Stop crying. Child of God, stop crying. Pastor, stop crying. Stop murmuring. Stop complaining about your ministry, about this. Hour. Stop complaining. Submit yourself to the Lord. Resist the devil. Put up a resistance. Put up a resistance. Just told us in, John, in, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19. He said, Behold, I gave you power to trample on serpents and scorpions and all the parts of darkness, and nothing by any means will hurt you. Nothing by any means will hurt you. You have to use the power to crush the serpents and scorpions on your way. On your way to your destiny. The, the reason why you are crying, why you are frustrated, why you said things are not going the way it is supposed to go, is because of those serpents. The serpents and scorpions are alive. But you are empowered to crush them. Don't let them crush you. Don't joke with them. Don't be like Samson. You see, for him to deal with his enemy, he begins to joke. Hey, if you tie me like this, I'll become wicked. If you do this, I'll become weak. Don't be a joker. Your enemy is not joking. The devil is not joking. Don't joke. Don't joke. The devil is not joking. I want us to pray. I want us to begin to pray. Now begin to put on the whole armor of God on your spirit man. I put on the complete armor of God on my spirit man. In the name of Jesus. I put on the complete armor of God on my spirit man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord anything in me. That will make me a failure. That will make me a loser in the battlefield. Lord anything in me. That will make me to run away before my enemies. Anything in me, O oh God, that will make me to be defeated before my enemy. O oh Lord, expose it, uproot it, and destroy it in the name of Jesus. Father, if there is anything in me that will make me to run before my enemies, that will make me to be defeated before my enemy, my Lord and my God, I pray, expose it, O oh God, uproot it, and destroy it, thou Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Marika pa sekele boshita na makoria masendi riko boshite kapa riko posito lo boshita na makubari ya maseke boshita lindo boshite kapa kuria makaseke le boshita na makuri boseke riko ponde le boshita riko posika pa riko shito maeta ponda la boshita baba riko posiko lo boshita na makuna maseke boshita begin to rebuke that voice that is telling you that uh, it's too late for you to pray, that it's too weak for you to pray, and the things you have been so like that, I silence any demonic voice that want to discourage me from praying. I come against you. I crush and I destroy you by the power in the blood of Jesus, in the matrimony of Jesus. So decree and declare, crush that voice. Silence that voice by the power in the blood of Jesus. I silence any demonic voice that is discouraging me from praying and pursuing my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Lima sika le kosoto li bashita. Rende bosoko li kapashite la bakunde mosiko boshita. I take authority over my destiny and I possess my destiny in the name of Jesus. Declare and declare that I take authority over my destiny and I possess my destinies in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the gates of my destinies and I possess the gates of my destiny in the name of Jesus. I take authority over my environment and I possess my environment in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the heavenlies. I take authority over the land. I take authority over the water. I possess the heavenlies. I possess the land. I possess the water in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the whole creation to cooperate with me and fight for me. In the name of Jesus. I command the whole creation to cooperate with me and fight for me. I command the whole creation to cooperate with my destiny and fight for my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I command the whole creation to cooperate with me and fight for me. Let the whole creation cooperate with my destiny and fight for my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I command any demonic instruction that have been issued to the elements, I command against my destiny. I command it to be nullified. I command to be reversed. I command to be revoked in the name of Jesus. Child of God, don't forget it is written that you and Jesus Christ, you are seated on the right hand of the Father. 
far above principality, above all principalities, all powers, all dominion, and all kingdoms. Leko Siyamashita, that is, you can find it in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 21. Lima Seke Leko Shita, by the virtue of my position in Christ Jesus, I take charge over my destiny. I possess my destiny in the material of Jesus. I come against any satanic army that is fighting against the fulfillment of my destiny in full time. I command that army to burn to ashes by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the material of Jesus. I command any conspiracy in the heavens, conspiracy from the land, conspiracy from the water against my destiny. I command the conspiracy to scatter by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I command any demonic ritual, demonic sacrifice, demonic enchantment that is being issued daily against my destiny. I come against those enchantments by the power in the blood of Jesus. I neutralize those enchantments. I bind the demons behind the enchantment. I bind the demons behind any spell. I, chant, I bind the demon behind any eggs that can be issued against me. I command those demons to be arrested, be bound and be burned to ashes by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of error, against my destiny. I command any power and the spirit that is attacking my destiny with the spirit of error, I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against any spirit of disqualification, all the hours of disqualification being fired against my destiny so that I'll be disqualified out of the service of God. I command, let those arrows break fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the arrows to break fire, let the arrows break fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the network of the wicked in the heavenly or the land of the water operating against the fulfillment of my destiny. I command those network to be crushed in the mighty name of Jesus. I command their technicians to run back in the mighty name of Jesus. I command those network to burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. I command those network to be cancelled by the Father of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against any demonic sacrifice being offered against my destiny, being offered to pull me down. I come to attack those sacrifices with the once and for all sacrifice which my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has made on the cross of Calvary. I command those demonic sacrifices to be nullified. I command them to be crushed. I command them to be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Any satanic siege over my destiny, I command the siege to break. I command the siege to be crushed. I command the siege to break any satanic siege over my destiny. Let the siege break in the name of Jesus. Whatever kind of siege, whether siege of sickness, whether siege of poverty, whether siege of confusion, I command that siege break in the name of Jesus. I command that siege to break. I command that siege to break in the name of Jesus. Any marine altar, liko posita laba, leko shito. Any marine altar that is attacking my destiny, I command that altar in their honor be burned to ashes by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Pray, child of God. Pray. Keep on praying. 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 Command any marine altar. That he been attacking your destiny. Command those marine orders to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Now crush that I crush every order of error. Erected to cause error in my life. Erected to cause error in my destiny. I command you that order of error. And your owners gather yourself together. And be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Gather yourself together and be burned to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Likoposotoli Mashita, every altar of destiny error erected against my destiny. I command you not alter in your owners with all the ritual, all the sacrifice, all the enchantment, all the bewitchment, all the spell, all the eggs that are being enchanted on that altar of error. I command to be burnt to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every spell caster in the heavenlies that have been casting spells, casting things, casting incantation against my destiny. I command you to be scattered unto desolation in the name of Jesus. 
I come to be scattered and to solution in the mighty name of Jesus. Riko kosoto ni kapashita mande kono kosiyobo liko koshita laba lengo sita na makunde koshita laba kunde kosika yaba. Now, child of God, decree and declare. Now, begin to remove all the armory of your enemy. Jesus said, "If a strong man is fully armed, he gathered his palace, and a good will be at peace." But when a stronger than him came against him, he took away all his armory in which he trusted and he spoiled his good. You are stronger than your enemy. For it is written that greater is he that's in you than he that's against you. Don't forget, child of God, don't be discouraged because don't look at the battle because the word of the Lord say that in all the battle, in everything, you are more than the conquerors. You are more than the conquerors. Liko posito laba, reke posito, mande posotolia, liko posita laba kunda maseke. Crush all the serpents of destiny delay. Crush all the serpent of destiny manipulation. Liko posotoli mashita, mande kore posito, riko posita laba kunda, leko posotoli ma. Please crush that altar of destiny error, sister. Crush that out of destiny ever. The enemy want you to go into a wrong marriage. I crush every altar of destiny error. Every altar of marital error. Every altar of academic error. Every altar of business error. Every altar of spiritual error. I crush those altars. I destroy them by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Lima sika le koshito, rende poso toni kapasito, liko poshita na makonde boshita, leko poso toni kamande boshia, liko posi koponde, riko posi koponde boshita. Decree and declare, brother, be decree and declare, sister, that let my destiny become too hot for the wicked to manipulate in the name of Jesus. Let my destiny become too hot for the wicked to manipulate in the name of Jesus. Let my destiny become too hot for the wicked to tamba. In the name of Jesus, let my destiny receive fire, possess fire, become fire. In the name of Jesus, let my destiny be receive fire, possess fire, become fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let all the full time enemies that have been assigned to stop my destiny at the all costs, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume them in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lima sika le mosho, mande koria masito lobo, le kopo shita, nde kosia mande bo, rikopo sito lobo shita, le kopo soto na mande bo shita. Let the networks of the wicked against my destiny, let the network be scattered unto desolation. Let the habitation be scattered unto desolation. Let the shield of my enemies be crushed and be destroyed. Let their protection be destroyed. Let their pillars be collapsed. Let their confidence be destroyed. Let their strength become weakness. Let their prosperity become poverty. Let whatever their defense is, let it collapse in the name of Jesus. Let the defense of my enemy collapse. Let the pillar of my enemy be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Masia Masete, Rika Pasende, Rika Poshito Nama, Rika Pondele Bosia, Liko Poshito Nama Kuseke Boshita. I arise and I take my position. I arise and I possess my destiny. I arise and I fulfill my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever power, whether it's dead or alive, that is angry from the fulfillment of my destiny, I command to be silenced in your grave. Be silenced in your grave in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say glory be to your holy name. No grouping, no enforcement, no retaliation. No counter attack. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Child of God, this program continues. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow at the same time. God bless us in Jesus' mighty name. And if you've been watching this program and you're not yet born again, you've not yet given your life to Christ, you have to give your life to Jesus Christ because a life without Christ is in crisis. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying for me. I know that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. Come into my heart, forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Remove my name from the book of the dead and write my name in the book of the living. Thank you, Father. Thank you for accepting me. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. 
Amen. Now that you are born again, join a church that teaches salvation. Get yourself a good Bible. If you need more prayers and counseling, conduct us on this page. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen.